Hey guys, welcome to Get It Done with Gabby. Today we are going to be getting it all done. I have a bunch of random stuff I need to get done and we are starting out with the stove top. Had a bit of a hamburger helper explosion last night. Obviously it's gross everywhere else too, but uh, the cheese situation, I thought it would be okay for me to go put Parker to bed while it was cooking, and that was a mistake. The pot boiled over with all the cheese action, and uh, this is what we were left with, so gotta get that taken care of. So I decided to go ahead and try the barkeeper's friend on the stove top. I was looking at the back of it and it said it could be used for stoves. So I decided to give it a go. Uh, I don't know if this was the right way to use it or not. I just kind of sprinkled it on there and then filled up my scrub daddy sponge with water and kind of just like squeezed it all over it. it. Seemed to work okay. I mean, everything scrubbed off really nice and and ended up looking super shiny at the end of it. So uh, I'm pretty pleased with how things turned out. But uh yeah, this stove was super gnarly. Oh, and uh, the little grates that go on top, I put those in the dishwasher. I feel like I've told you guys this before, but it's a super easy way to clean those without having to do any work, really. <laughs> so that's my little cheat code for that. Just throw those in the dishwasher if you can. So the barkeeper's friend leaves kind of like a milky looking residue if you just wipe it off so after i got that all like wiped up i went back in with my mr clean spray and a microfiber towel just to like polish this up and make it super super shiny i always love how the stove looks after it's clean but i felt like this time in particular it was super shiny i don't know if i'm being biased about the barkeeper's friend stuff and just like i don't know projecting its amazingness <laughs> <laughs> to its ability to clean, but I thought my stove looked pretty dang good after it was all finished. Okay, we are officially onto the mega laundry pile. If you can believe it, I had twice as much as is in this pile to fold. I just figured I would only drag you guys through half of this. I have just been so like behind on laundry. I don't know what's going on with me. Usually I'm pretty good about keeping up with it, but for whatever reason, the past few weeks, I have just not been in it to win it with the laundry, but uh, <laughs> I'm still, like, <laughs> when doing this voiceover, full honesty mode, all of the stuff that I had to hang in my closet is still sitting right next to me right now on the floor of my closet, still not hung up because I just am not setting aside the time to deal with it. <sighs> okay, I will, I'm gonna, I'm gonna hang them up. I, I will hang them up as soon as I'm done doing this voiceover so that they are off the floor. I promise, I promise I will do it. <laughs> And as soon as we're done with the laundry, we are going to move on to the next section of my stairs. I think you guys saw a couple weeks ago, I used that like carpet scraper thing uh, to get the cat hair out of the carpet on the stairs. And it worked so freaking well, but I'm so huge. I did not have the energy to do like both flights of stairs. So I'm back at it again. I'm going to do the second half and uh, God, I love that carpet scraper. Man, if you want to check that out, it's linked in my Amazon storefront. Such a good product.
Good morning. Do I look like a sloppy 38 week pregnant person? Yes, I do. I apologize. <laughs> but I am not getting out of my pajamas today. Don't feel like it. It's not happening. <laughs> but we still have to press on and get things done. My parents will be here in one week because I don't think I have told you guys this update because when you see this, it will be totally irrelevant and I will already have this baby offloaded. Um, but I don't know, for the sake of talking about it, why not? I have an appointment at 39 weeks to do the ECV because she is still head up. Her little noggin is still up at the top here. She has another week to change her mind before the procedure, but we're gonna do the ECV. If it's, if it's successful, they're just gonna induce me at the hospital right then and there so she doesn't have a chance to flip back around. Um, but if not, then we will roll straight into a C-section. So uh, one week, and this queen is going to be brought into the world one way or the other. So it is time to get prepped, get things ready, and just like, just do our final stretch of just getting all settled and prepared for her arrival. So we are gonna start cleaning bathrooms. Yeehaw. So let's start with the downstairs bathroom because that one's easy. All right, at least one of you said they were down to watch me do sewing projects. So we are gonna work on some sewing projects. <laughs> First one I wanna knock out is this one. This is my grandpa's old shirt that has tons of holes all over the back. 
and I just keep ripping it like a little bit more and a little bit more and so I wanna make that stop before it's irreparable damage. I'm gonna start with the top. Okay, it's gonna be janky, but again, we're just trying to like preserve what can be preserved. <laughs> and I'm not a seamstress, so it is what it is. Bend a needle. I didn't break the thread. It's a victory. Count it. Is it janky? Yes. Did it fix the problem? Yes, it did. <laughs> I should have used white thread. <laughs> oh, I don't care. It's fine. Everything is fine. <laughs> oh well. Okay, so we are gonna try and set up this camera again. I think a couple weeks ago you guys saw me try to like half-acidly open the boxes and then I immediately got overwhelmed with technology and just like completely bailed and said I was gonna wait for Matt. So I am dragging him into this today to try to set this up. I bet it's not even that complicated, honestly. Sorry, the belly is just out. Anyway, I'm sure it's not that complicated, but Matt's here to help me or do it for me or whatever. I am here to help. <laughs> Okay, I don't know why technology overwhelms the crap out of me. I can't possibly be that complicated. I literally got this far and I pulled this bit out and I went, nope, I can't do it. What? And I put it back. Like, I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> all right. Well, because look, there's like all these boxes and I was like, that's too many boxes. Oh my gosh, boxes. And then I saw this little circle thing I was like I don't know what to do with that so but I did go on about how cute this tiny little sock is it's so little. oh is that the sensor yeah this uh, is the thing that goes sensor. on our foot neato okay oh they gave us more or 
don't know what these are. Looks yeah. like socks. Oh, those don't. Oh, have the sensor. Only one sensor. You, multiple socks. Oh, because you move the sensor. Are I bet maybe they're different sizes. Oh, this is two right. Okay, this is the next size up. So this is the infant or like newborn. So it's left and right for infant and. Oh yeah, and then that's adult. that. Are you supposed to put it on both feet? I thought it was just one foot. Oh, maybe it just depends. Maybe, yeah, oh, maybe so you can just, wash one? You can just swap them out. This was the, oh, I wonder if you have to charge. Mm -hmm. I bet you have to charge it. Yep. I was going to ask, is there like a clip or anything to attach it to the bassinet? Or how are we, what is it, what are our attachment options here? This boy. What's that for? The wall? Yes, so we can screw this into a, into a wall. I don't want to, because I don't know where I want the bassinet to be. I want to clip it to the bassinet. <laughs> there is no clip. So, I mean, she's going to be back in that corner. I guess, because the window doesn't work because... Yeah, we don't have anything we can do. I was going to have it pulled up closer to me. That was why I didn't want it on the wall. I could try and set up, like, a boom mic stand or something. Oh, just to have it attached to something? Yeah, let's worry about that in a second, because... But yeah, we would have to. We would have to get. We'd have to get fancy with that. But yeah, we could mess. We could mess with it, or I mean, we could attach it to that light. We could literally just command strip it to the yeah. a light post or something, so that it just sits over her and we can adjust it as needed. Yeah. Yep. I think that will be good. Okay. Turn on your outlet cam. So we must plug it into the wall. Make sure your outlet cam is in pairing mode. Listen for ready to pair. The light should be blinking red and blue. Ready to pair. Enable locations when prompted so we can detect your Wi-Fi network. This makes setup easier. Your outlet cam is being added to your account. Please wait. This may take up to four minutes. Okay, it worked. Success. Next. Oh my gosh. Updating your outlet. Finding tree. tree. It's gotta find a big tree. For the owl. Gathering twigs. Building nest. Settling in. I guess if you have an owl thing, you might as well lean into it. Your owlet cam is up to date. Next, we'll review some safety warnings while your camera resets. Generally, don't be an idiot. Okay, your owlet cam is owl set up and ready to go. Oh my god, they won't stop with the owl puns. It can be positioned on a flat surface or mounted on a wall. So maybe even if it is pulled away, we can still mount it on the wall and tip it, like pretty significantly too. Oh, that's that's a that's a magnet. That's why I was like, what the hell? Tight. Yeah. So that'll be good because then I can tip it out wherever I move her, and I can just adjust it real quick without it being fussy. Measure 36 inches from the top of your child's mattress and make a mark on the wall. This is where the cam will be mounted. <laughs> cam audio okay let's turn that off now we're going to set up the sock thingy base station next let's connect the base station to wi-fi so you can see readings on your phone so i downloaded the wrong app tight love that for me what do you mean you downloaded the wrong app i downloaded the outlet app instead of the outlet dream app well i mean you got the camera stuff through the outlet app right so it sounds like they just have two apps for different stuff. Okay, good. It already picked up the camera, so we're fine. I'm just going to delete that other app then. Okay, whatever. I think we did it. Ugh, technology! Wait, something cool just happened. Okay, we were trying to figure out where to put the... This is a really good angle on me. Okay, so we were going to try and attach the camera to this. Thing so I can move it around because I don't know where I want the bassinet yet and I was like maybe we could like zip tie it or something and then I went like this magnets oh magnets and Matt's like oh it probably won't hold the camera done it's already worth the majillion dollars it was anyway um that worked out great okay just for funsies I'm gonna set up the bassinet because I have all the sheets and stuff washed. Have I been using it for storage? Maybe. It's like the perfect little bedside basket. 
We've got a bajillion swaddle sacks. Let's just start fun and pink. What do you bet she pukes on this within the first 10 minutes of me putting her in here? <laughs> Likely, I think so. We're supposed to measure 36 inches away from, we should measure that so that I just have a general idea of what 36 inches is. Away from what? The mattress. And then we'll do the stars, the star swaddle. Oh my gosh, I can't wait to bring this little biscuit home. Cute! Okay, so if I want this over by me, like right here, so many cords, holy moly. <laughs> I'm probably going to zip tie it too, just so it's like more steady because it's kind of flappy. I mean, that's pretty much it. That's like lined up. We did it. Okay, final thoughts on the camera. Um, it's technology, so setup is a crapshoot, but it is all set up. The sock is charging. The camera is aligned. The magnet is bomb as hell. So glad we have that. I downloaded the wrong app first. I just downloaded the Owlet app, but we have the Owlet Dream. So I had to download a different app, but the whole camera setup just like transferred over to the new app. So that was nice, but we couldn't connect the sock base without having the new app. Whatever, it's all worked out. The camera set up, I'm so pleased. I'm so pleased. Oh, that worked out great. Anyway, that's it for this video. Thank you so much for hanging out and getting it all done with me. I know it was like a lot of random stuff, <laughs> but we are one week away from the little, not even a week, we're six days. At this, literally in one week, at this exact moment, I will either be in labor or I will have her in my arms because we will have done the C-section. So here we go. We're closing in on it. All right, guys. I'm going to leave you with that and I will see you in the next one. Bye.